OK, let's see if we can write down all the prime numbers less than 25. To start with, let me remind you that a prime number is any number that has only two factors. So 3 is a prime number, and that's because it only has two factors, 1 and 3. And what we're asking ourselves really is, how many numbers multiply to make 3? There's only one way of doing it, 1 times 3, and the two numbers involved are 1 and 3, and those are our factors, so we have two of them, and that's why 3 is a prime number. So another example of a prime number would be 7, because 1 times 7 is the only way you can multiply to make 7, and so we have two factors again, 1 and 7. An example of a number that's not prime would be 4, because although you can do 1 times 4, that's not the only way of making 4, because you can also do 2 times 2. So the number of factors there is 3, because you've got 1 and 4, and then you've got 2, and that's repeated, so we're not going to count it twice. So we have three factors there, and so therefore we cannot say that 4 is prime. So to write down all of the prime numbers less than 25, we start with the number 2. That's the first prime number, because there's only one way to make it, and that's 1 times 2. Um, now you might be saying, well, what about the number 1? Well, 1 can be made only in one way, sure, and that's 1 times 1, but we've got the same number repeated there. So technically we've only got one factor, which is the number 1, and so we don't count um, the number 1 as a prime number. So I'm going to cross that out too. So going back then, we've got the number 2, that's our first one. 3 is the next one, obviously. Then 4 isn't, we've already mentioned that. And actually, if you think about it, every even number except for 2 isn't going to be prime because um, there's always going to be a way of, of multiplying. Apart from doing 1 times itself, you're going to be able to do 2 times something. So for example, 4 is 2 times 2, 6 is 2 times 3, 8 is 2 times 4, etc. So because they're in the 2 times table, then we're never going to uh, have an example of a prime number that's even again. The next prime number then is 5. Then we have 7. 9 isn't a prime number because you can do 3 times 3 as well as 1 times 9. So skipping ahead then, we end up with 11 being our next one. 1 times 11 is the only way to make that. Then 13. 15 isn't going to be, if you think about it, because you can do 3 times 5. So then 17 is the next one. And then 19. And then 21 isn't, because you can do 3 times 7. And so lastly, we have 23, because 25, we can do 5 times 5. So those are all our prime numbers less than 25.